Purchase is part of the state government thing. There are processes, and I can't get into uh, you know sort of the personnel file type issues. What I will tell you is, this has what it doesn't have to do with is anything relating to uh, program, meaning we're not doing anything to the program. In fact. You know, we have discussions in cabinet about various programs that should be supported more, get more support, get uh, obviously some of the opposite. And, and, uh, and film is always at the top of the pile along with some other very good programs. So there's no secret agenda here to do something negative to your program. In the meantime, what I have been told by the provost um, is that assignments have been made and alternative arrangements have been made to make sure that you have people uh, helping you with your senior projects, with your seniors, and whatever else uh, you're doing. And if there are um, you know, inadequacies in that, and you're shaking your head, so obviously you must think that, um, then you know, that's something that should be put down uh, in, a, in a, you know, I would say uh, uh, not emotional uh, manner and, and let uh, Barry uh, see that those things are solved. There are a specific couple of questions, I'd be glad to answer them. I guess what troubles us the most is, um, and we understand, I mean, that legality is suspending any details, we understand that. Um, I guess what troubles us the most is that we're told originally that they're conducting an investigation. Right. They were told by the provost uh, to the student reps that went ahead and meeting with them that there is no investigation. That terminology is wrong, and for those who use that terminology, which was HR, uh, that he will speak to them about that. Okay, so investigation is the wrong word. Michelle also well, uses well, yeah. It, it, it is in the technical sense, you know, there's a process, and that's what we're trying to go through. Sure, sure, sure. But then what happens is that, you know, Michelle says to us uh, in meetings that we've had, collective meetings or individual meetings, that for all I know, Bob is still on the roster for next year. Meanwhile, the head coordinator, Chuck Workman, is going around asking juniors, who would you like next year instead of Bob? And what that does for us, the conflicting terminology right. and, and the fact that there's a teacher asking us, you know, uh, it, it does suggest a little bit of a conspiracy, that that's why and well, I can tell you two things. Number one, no person in the program, whether Chuck or Michelle or anyone else, um, can know the answer to that question. In other words, to, to the extent that somebody is saying to you, um, you know, who do you want in lieu of? Mm -hmm. I can't tell you the answer to that. So whether he is simply trying to make uh, you know, potential alternate arrangements in case something happens, I don't know. But I can tell you that that has never been prejudged. And you know, there's a process, there's a union, he has union representation, and um, you know, that's going through it. So obviously, like in most things, you get uh, you know, a little disinformation or misinformation or whatever, and then so it tends to speed things up. Right. But if, if you look at the union contract, which is a public document, it tells you what this process is. And essentially, you know, he's entitled, if there are charges, and if, um, which we haven't made a determination. In other words, right now, we are reviewing what the facts were that took place. 
obviously something happened, right? We don't go around doing this arbitrarily. So something happened. We're now reviewing what happened, and that's this process. So if somebody wanted to use the term investigation, like you'd see on television right. in some cop program, it's not that. It's really a, you know, a process of talking to people and trying to ascertain what did happen. You know, I don't know why Chuck asked about uh, next year, but I can tell you that as we sit here right now, nobody's made that determination. And I don't even know uh, whether uh, uh, ultimately the charges will be issued. Right, and I mean, and obviously, people don't want to jump to conclusions by hands. Like narrative filmmakers, we're all going to spin narratives. Yeah, and, we, and I hope I mean, you will. <laughs> <laughs> and but we also know that I mean. In, in the last two years, the film program has become very contentious within faculty, within administration, and it, it weighs heavily upon us atmospherically. Well, and we see those things that take place between certain teachers and right. hear certain things. And so spinning our narrative, spinning what we can know, what we can um, kind of accumulate, uh, it will lead to certain things, and um, that's kind of why we're here. And one, one of the big examples is Chuck asking the things, because we do, we see, it's compounded by many volatile arguments we've witnessed him have with teachers. Yeah. Um, and otherwise, and kids. So him being Chuck, him being Chuck, Chuck, Chuck. Right. and we've seen him argue with Bob. We've seen him argue with Iris. We've seen him argue with us. Right. Um, and I mean, he has just completely, just a very volatile nature. And that very many examples of that in recent, right before uh, Bob is escorted off campus, it mixed with the fact after he's escorted off campus, Chuck asks, "Who do you want to chance for Bob?" It, it's like completely unsettling. Well, I'm sorry. Uh, I am sorry because. It, you know, first of all, I can, you know, if I take myself back uh, a few years back to college and my uh, closest uh, faculty member all of a sudden disappeared, it would piss me off. So I'd want to know why, you know, if he's not in the box, then what happened to him? Right. And I understand the problem that we have. Um, and, and I will say that one of the things I am aware of, because, you know, the way that the college operates is you have heads of programs and then a dean and then a provost and then me and the provost uh, principal obligation is to oversee the academic program. So I normally don't insert myself and, and the kinds of decisions that I get are either budgetary at the end of the day when we talk about with respect to the academic program or uh, tenure. When somebody comes up for tenure, I get a I don't normally insert myself into a program. So, um, but I am aware of what you said, which is that for whatever reason, and you know, without getting into the cast of characters, there has been a lot of volatility <coughs> in your program. You know, I'm aware of that, and, and part of this issue, frankly, is uh, to get to the bottom of it, to end it. You know, and again, not to prejudge anybody, whether Bob, Chuck, or anybody else. Mm -hmm. And I don't want you to uh, infer from what you've seen or not seen that some judgment has been made that somebody is, um, you know, without fault and somebody is with fault. That hasn't been made. And as I said, we haven't even gotten to the point where we've determined whether Um, I just want to like bring to the attention that uh, that I, and I know you know this, but like we are an art program, and you know in, in a in a science setting or a math setting or anything with a math teacher, there's a very specific curriculum. You can replace a teacher. It would it would stink, but you could replace a teacher and show them the scores of the children and then of the students, and then you know you can move forward. And this is very different in that Bob has been. You know, I'm I'm technically in a conservatory program. My my degree will say conservatory, yeah, and um, and like not to demean anyone else. You know, this is still a very much conservatory program. We really like to keep it that way, even if the title is gone. And Bob has been with the conception of my film since sophomore year, and that is kind of like what I came here for. It was the idea of a conservatory education, and without him, especially five you're, you're weeks. Junior, I'm a senior. Before. Five weeks before everything I've been building towards, he is completely removed. Someone is here who is may, may or may not be qualified. 
very sweet, very, very educated, very smart, but does not know me at all as an artist, has never seen my work. I cannot give her scores to judge me by, you know? Like, I can show her all the work I've ever done, but it's, it's what we've lost is not comparable to the other programs in I this understand. way. So, and that is the, that's so, why the urgency so is there. So let me us. ask you this. Um, you all presumably are going to be done with whatever it is you're doing by the end of the year. Right, yeah, we're finishing now. What? We're finishing now, yeah. yeah. Right, I'm talking about sweet. Yeah. yeah. And what? Every class does it, yeah. No, no, I know that. How many people are in the specific situation that you're in? Everyone in the class. Yeah. Everyone in our class everyone and everyone in the junior class, class as well. The junior class and senior class. Wait, wait. I, let's just talk about seniors. Okay. Say, say it again, what you just said. Um, which the, the I'm fact. asking you, in other words, he's all your advisors? Yeah. yeah. There's only 12 of us. Yeah, what? There's, there's only 12 of us. He's a introduction There's 12, but there's, there's, um, there's more than 12 seniors. No, no, yeah. there's 12, there's there's 12, 12 seniors in the senior phone class, but Robert Siegel is, is not just our academic advisor in terms of who our advisor is for registration and such. He's been our mentor in the program, so our primary production course has been him. Right. He has a learned who we are. He has no, I understand. Same with in terms of class. finishing your work. In terms of finishing our work. That's what I'm trying to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <coughs> Professor Siegel and Brandon Harris is his co-teacher. Right. But uh, and what is the status right now of Brandon Harris? Brandon he's Harris is fantastic. He's, fantastic. He's, only, he's only been here for a year. Okay. He, he's, he's warmed himself to our hearts very much and he's learned about us very effectively. The, the thing though is that Bob has been teaching us for years. He knows us very well. And is an expert in the field. And he also knows how to elicit what we are trying to do and how, what we're trying to say. Brandon is a very good counterpoint, but uh, he's a very good counterpoint to Bob. The, the, the teacher that has been, uh, the teacher that has replaced Bob for us in our senior year is a very intelligent teacher. Who's that? Charlotte Glenn. She's very good, but she doesn't know any of us. And so for her to play, she, she hasn't seen a frame of my movie. But also yesterday. has much less so. expert and professional yeah. experience than Bob Siegel. Yeah, that Bob's is what the conservatory offers is ex expert teachers and expert professors. I, I know the juniors have the same situation, albeit you have another year. And I, I, what I'd like to do is to, uh, where are you, for example, you in terms of your film, finishing the film? What, what are the steps yet to be taken before you finish your film. Is it supposed to be finished by next week? Or yeah. is this something that... No, it'll be finished by next week for... So are you all supposed to finish it yeah. by next week? Are you yes. familiar with our review process? Yeah. Yeah, so it's supposed to be finished in time for review and for Bob's all the teachers. Yeah. And, and Bob won't be there to review. Which is weird. Yeah. Yeah. Which is very bizarre. <laughs> We're not giving the full information to one or two professors. He's supposed to, the review, you know, I know you know this, but the review is meant so that the teachers who have seen you grow for the last four years in a conservatory setting can can kind of tell you their, you know, their mentorship viewpoint on how you've changed and okay. your okay. artistic. All right, I got it. I think I got it. <laughs> um, I'm going to go, we'll have a conversation with the provost, and uh, you know, we'll see if there's a way to. Thank you so much for listening. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. And, and I, you know, I want to say something else because, um, and, and I hope you'll take this the right way. Uh, <laughs> I think it's immensely important that, not for the purpose of, you know, Bob Siegel and so on, but that you're doing what you're doing, because what it shows is, um, you know, you really care about what you're doing. And uh, if, uh, if we've done anything here, we obviously picked the right students on day one when you came in, and the fact that feel so emotionally driven by this to me says, you know, you're all headed in the right direction and let me see, you know, if it's a way that it's sort of within that process that I did not design. Um, oh. okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.